In the ever-evolving world of gaming, the fusion of anime aesthetic with the action RPG mechanics is an exciting trend. AI Limit, developed under the China Hero Project, emerges as a noteworthy contender in the genre, promising a unique experience. After trying out its recent demo, I'm eager to share my thoughts on its intriguing mechanics and a vibrant world. From the moment I started exploring the derelict buildings and creepy aqueducts of AI Limit, the game's stylish and crisp presentation immediately captured my attention. The environments have distinct anime-inspired charm, making a visual treat that stands out in the crowded landscape of Souls-like games. While the demo is confined to sewers, the post-apocalyptic setting hints at the larger, more expansive world to explore beyond the murky depths. In the AI limit, you play as Aritza, a character bestowed with the immortality. Your objective is to traverse this devastated landscape, slaying a variety of foes including undead creatures, alien adversaries and AI robots. The combat dynamic are particularly engaging as enemies can dash with one another, adding an entertaining layer of chaos to the gameplay. Watching those skirmishes unfold not only enhances the immersion but also underscores the game's chaotic charm. One of the defining features of AI Limit it is combat system. The fluidity of the combos allows players to feel like they're part of the anime action scene. Dodging and attack seamlessly blend together, creating a rhythm that is both engaging and satisfying. The combat system encourages players to utilize light and heavy attacks in quick succession, enhancing the overall pacing of the battles. In addition to melee attacks, Arisa possesses a magical abilities and a parrying mechanics that utilizes a magical fist, offering a player's multiple ways to approaching encounters. The ability to chain combos and unleash super moves after building up hits adds to an excitement and a depth of combat. As someone who loved Code Vein and obtained even a platinum trophy in it, I noticed several similarities between it and AI Limit. Both games share a stylish presentation and a Souls-like mechanics, which created a familiar yet fresh experience for the players. However, despite the slick mechanics, the demo unfortunately suffers from the performance issues. During my time playing on PlayStation 5, I experienced frustrating frame rates. Often fluctuating around what maybe felt like 40 FPS, this instability detracted from the otherwise engaging combat, making the gameplay feel choppy at times. Moreover, I encountered glitches during the cutscenes where the screen would flicker between black and the scene itself, uh, detracting from the narrative experience, unfortunately. AI Limit does not shy away from its Souls-like roots. Players will encounter familiar mechanics such as bonfire-like checkpoints, challenging enemy encounters, and the necessity of gathering materials from the fallen foes to upgrade their stats and customizing their fighting styles. While these elements are tried and true, AI Limit sticks closely to this established formula, offering title in a way of novel twists. What sets this game apart, however, it is a striking art style. The anime-inspired visuals and sleek cartoonish aesthetics create a captivating atmosphere that is hard to look away from. This artistic flair is a significant factor in keeping players engaged. Similar to how the Persona series stands out with the art JRPG genre due to its unique style and swagger. The UI and the combat animations are visually appealing, making players feel like the protagonist in an action-packed anime. While the game's presentation excels and the character of Arisa feels somewhat flat in the demo, with limited dialogue and the often expressionless demeanor, she kind of lacks the personality that could elevate the narrative experience. Despite the stylish design and captivating combat animations, Arisa's lack of vocal expressions such as not reacting when taking damage or even dying creates kind of a disconnect. Given that she's designed to look human, this absence of humanity feels odd and maybe something that developers need to address in the future updates. The demo presents Arisa in the introductory area that serves as a tutorial, allowing players to experience with the different weapons and outfits. One unique mechanic introduced in the demo is the sync rate meter, which adds an interesting dynamic to the combat. This meter charges up as players attack enemies and depletes when hits are taken or special abilities are used. Importantly, this sync rate also determines the damage output of your weapons, encouraging a strategic approach to your combat and rewarding players for maintaining their meter. 
Wild spells are a staple of the Souls-like genre. An AI limit demo includes a main boss encounter that showcases the game's potential. The boss attacks are well telegraphed, allowing players to learn and adapt to its patterns. However, unfortunately, the encounter lacks something that could feel like a climactic fight. The sound design during the boss battles feel muted, and the visual effect could use an enhancement to imply the intensity of the encounter. More impactful audio or and particle effects could elevate the overall experience, making boss fights more thrilling. Despite these shortcomings, the combat mechanics are enjoyable, and the stagger system adds depth to the battles. Successfully dodging enemy attacks and encountering can lead to satisfying moments that make players feel powerful. The ability to transform your arm into various defense forms hint a potential customizability option in the full game. Overall, AI Limit presents an intriguing blend of anime aesthetics and traditional Souls-like mechanics. While the demo showcases enjoyable combat and a visual stunning world, significant improvements are needed in performance and character expression. The familiar gameplay loop is comforting but lacks enough innovation to set it apart from the other titles in the genre. As of now, AI Limit is scheduled to release later in 2024. In all honesty, I kind of think they should delay it, but that's just me. And there is hope that the developers will address the performance issues and enhance the overall presentation before launch. The potential for the rich narrative, dynamic enemy encounters, and engaging customization is evident, and I'm excited to see how the game evolves. Now, for the fans of the genre, AI Limit is definitely worth keeping an eye on. Its stylish presentation and engaging combat could make it noteworthy addition to any action RPG fan's library. If the developers can polish the rough edges and enhance the overall experience, AI Limit might just become the next go-to title for the anime-inspired Souls-like gameplay. And that's exactly what I want. Thank you so much for watching, do let me know as well what do you do think about AI Limit. Give it a chance, check it out, see the demo for yourself. It's available, I believe, on PlayStation 5 and Steam. See you guys all. Have a wonderful day. Welcome, Seeker of the Branch. Thank you for helping us deal with the Void. Leave this area and proceed to Heavenswell. The monster is still there. No one can escape. We must seize the moment. Follow the will of your heart and embark on your own journey. May the branch guide your path.